you know, in hindsight, it always sounds, I'm out, just for those listening, I'm out of this. I've been out of that for about a year and a half going on two years now. Um, so I'm able to look at it with a more dialed eye. So I hope if you're in any situation that requires you to objectively look at something that you're in right now that you consider a failure, that this helps you. Um, in the moment, I have a tendency, like I said, recovering people pleaser to guilt trip myself and take all the blame. So there is a level of grace that you have to give yourself to be able to look at things objectively. And that's why I say it's a humbling experience because you have to look at like, how am I holding this person back in the, in the example of partnership? So just ask yourself those questions. What am I doing well? What am I not doing well? What needs to change for me to get to the desired result that I want? So that's the internal, we call it intrapersonal communication. You have to be able to have a dialogue with yourself and as objective as humanly possible because emotions can cloud the judgment really well. So you you want to ask yourself these questions and then de de devise the answers and ask yourself, am I feeling that way because like, because I'm scared? Is there an emotion behind this or is this actually what's happening? And then once you have that conversation with yourself, with grace, you know, with a level of vulnerability, don't sugarcoat this because it's, it failure is a real thing that you, the best failure is the greatest lesson, which will lead to the greatest success. My business coach says all that, says that all the time. Then for me personally, I sought outside counsel. I talked to my wife. My wife gave me a perspective that is tied into the emotional side of the relationship. She knows me as a human being. So she knows my values. She knows what. So find someone that knows you on that level and seek counsel. And you take their words from not like raw decision making filters, but to better understand yourself and why you answered the questions you asked yourself that way. The second person that I took counsel was, was my business coach, who is very objective and is able to see through all the, and help me think clearly. So he would challenge me with questions that I was uncomfortable with. Why do you want to make this decision? If you make this decision and three years from now, you look back at the decision, how do you feel about it?